Hey, how we doing out there in YouTube land? So I uh, went to a rummage and sale today and went to Bookman's a couple days ago. Yesterday, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So I've got a couple things to show you that I picked up uh, for uh, the right price, of course. Uh, this first thing here, uh, I'm pretty stoked about this. I got this <laughs> for 50 cents. I paid 50 cents for this. A Platinum Game Boy Advanced. Uh, no, no battery cover, but those are fairly easy to get online, I noticed. Uh, it's a little, as you can tell, you know, it's pretty scratched up. It's pretty dinged up. It's a little dirty. That can clean up pretty well, I'm sure. Uh, the screen is a little dinged up, too, but, like, I checked out a game at first. The first game I put in there uh, didn't actually work for some weird reason, so I popped another one, and it worked just fine. Booted up right away. Played just fine. So 50 cents total uh, rummage sale. Uh, kill of the day there. I was really hoping I'd find something pretty awesome there. And I did. Also found this there. And I paid 50 cents for this. It's the first strike. Halo. And the reason I picked up a Halo book is because I've been getting into Halo again. I got a 360 working and picked up a bunch of Halo games recently. So I've been playing those. Play, been playing Spartan Ops on Halo 4. And uh, the dialogue is not great, as a lot of people have been commenting. But it, they're pretty fun. Like, I miss the firefights from ODST. I love those things. Love, love, love them. Got some of those zero point vidmaster achievements, which were not easy, let me tell you. Um, so that was pretty awesome to find. Book 50 cents. I paid two bucks for this. I'm pretty sure I don't own this. Uh, Battle of the Bulge on DVD. And you know, actually, I didn't even think to take a look to see if it was in there. And it is. And the disc looks pretty amazing. So that, that's nice. Uh, normally, I, I check that out. So uh, should be interesting. Robert Shaw's in it, who I believe was uh, Quint in Jaws. So, uh, you know, uh, Henry Fonda, Robert Ryan, Danny Andrews, uh, you know, uh, looks pretty good. So I'll, I'll be checking that out this week. And here the, the well, these first two games I picked up at uh, Bookman's. And if you know where Bookman's is, do a quick Google to see you know roughly where, what state I live in at the very least. So I uh, paid a little, a little too much for this. Uh, but I, I really wanted to play I thought it was uh, like the Master Chief Collection. It was like the first four Halos. Uh, but it's not. It's Combat Anniversary. Uh, Combat Evolved Halo Anniversary. I can't. I can't read. Apparently, so got that. Uh, been enjoying that. You know, uh, totally flashback and back to the early two thousands with the first Xbox. Which, which incidentally, I just got a original Xbox. Uh, cracked it open. I wasn't reading discs. Uh, a little bit of ninety percent rubbing alcohol on like the wheel. Little tiny dab on the laser. And booted up every Xbox game I had, which isn't many, but uh, and it's weird because uh, I have the Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth game, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play for Halloween. And then I remember like around the Marsh Refinery, it's not like I got stuck, but it's it's just it's tough, even on like the Boy Scout, which is like the amateur level. Uh, but I got I gotta play that again. And I got a couple other games I wanted to check out, and uh, I picked this up for a really I thought a decent price. Uh, looking at price charting, it's. I paid a buck over what I should have been. I definitely paid over for the Halo, but that's all right. Because uh, I know I'll have over 100 hours of play with this game. And that's what I did with uh, the fourth one. So if you can guess what that is, it's Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So I played a little bit of it. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Uh, so lately, besides Halo, I've been playing Dead Island. The first Dead Island I got for like, I don't know, I picked it up at uh, Bookman's for, um, I want to say it was like 550 or something. And uh, I've been playing the crap out of it. I mean, like, I, like the first couple of days, it was like marathon gaming sessions. I got up ridiculously early because I've been waking up stupid early. And I've been playing that thing. I'd play it to like, I mean, six, seven hours. It was ridiculous, right? So finally took like a two-day break on it. I mean, I, I love killing zombies as much as everyone else, right? But, uh, you know, uh, and I'm having this trouble. I can't find the last location. It's this glitch achievement thing, right? You're supposed to find like 57... Uh, locations before you go to the prison, which is Act 4, so spoiler alert, a little late on that one, sorry. Uh, and I can only find 56, and I've been, I think, everywhere, but obviously not. So, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm just going to, like, go to the fourth act, just tr you just forget about that achievement. It's, you know, 30, 30 points, whatever. Who cares, right? They're just, they're meaningless things. I understand. That was a big achievement, a uh, whore, as they call it, uh, you know, back in the day. Uh, but at this point, I kind of want to finish... The first one, and and, and I you know, so I can get on this. They got for five bucks, Riptide. So it's just, I guess it's a sequel. 
and uh, it should be interesting. Paid five bucks for it. It was a, it was a used game, but uh, I'm looking at it, and it doesn't even look like it's been played. I don't know if you can blind you with science there. Uh, so pretty stoked. So I think I'm just gonna play through the first one and forget about that achievement thing. I can, I, I gotta play through three of the characters anyway. So I think on the last character, maybe I'll just try and find that last place. Though I, I swear I've looked everywhere. So uh, that's it. Uh, I got a ton of UV codes. I'm not doing one. Like no one, no one. One person commented like six days ago. So uh, if you're watching this video, I did reply to that comment. You're the only one that commented. Uh, so you, you got the code. But I don't have your email address. So if you send me your email address, send out that code to you, and you'll have a uh, cabin in the woods. So no code this time, though I have a stack, like I said. Like, this is the ridiculous pile. Look at that. There's a lot there. There's one. Well, this one's taken up. And I'm actually going to use this one and this one. So one, two, I don't know, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight. I got eight codes here. It's ridiculous. And I got a Disney uh, point thing because uh, I've already used it apparently. So there you go. Uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, yeah, I was going to say like, subscribe to get the code, but there's no code today. But if you want to like and subscribe just for the fun of it, that's cool too. So uh, I'm sure I'll see you again uh, pretty soon. So have a good day and take it easy.